Hey everyone, in this video I want to continue my men's style series, an important part of presentation, job performance, and general success in the business and real world with this uh, unboxing of the Rochester Shoe Tree. Um, quality shoe tree since 1922, blah blah blah. Um, if you aren't familiar with shoe trees, they are uh, what you put into uh, really high-end dress shoes so that they stay smelling good they they pretty much keep them from rotting and peeling and um, make them last longer which is really important when you're investing in high-end shoes so these shoe trees are the highest rated on Amazon by far over 2,000 five-star reviews average rating of five out of five stars um, no other shoe tree comes close uh, this is me opening it up for the first time. Look at these. Now, wood is the way to go. IKEA does sell um, one dollar plastic shoe trees, but those are like um, not as good. What you want with this one is wood. Any type of oak or tree type shoe tree helps the shoe stay smelling good for longer. Now, my first impressions on this is that. Um, the wood is it's smooth but um it's definitely not polished um you can tell it was sanded but you can still feel the wood um it's hard maybe hard to tell from the camera but it has a, like a reddish like a pinkish red color like uh, you know, a dead chicken something like that it not the most appealing color to me it's kind of like there's still blood on there even though it's a tree not an animal um the middle thing is it's metal it's it seems to be just like that goldish metal like not high quality metal um but not the worst quality metal i mean it's hard to tell um yeah these few trees are um double toed so that allows me to kind of like you know shift the weight in there and make sure it fits the shoe if it was all just one piece in the front uh, you have to really make sure it fits uh, these shoe trees cost about 20 bucks um, I think they were a good price especially given the ratings and reviews all the other shoe trees on there were pretty much even pricier than this by um, one dollar to five dollars and they didn't have as many ratings so in terms of the ratings and the price alone um, I had to try these out these stra you know Stratton shoe trees um, now as for what type of shoes you want to put these on um, these shoes are really low quality dress shoes you can tell the bottom is rubber Therefore, these are the type of um, shoes that I wouldn't bother um, using with shoe trees. You don't want to use them with dress shoes unless you you have boatloads of money to spend. Those loafers cost like 20 bucks. They're really low quality. You don't need to use it with these. Again, boots are the same thing. Avoid it. These are um, low to mid-tier dress shoes for the unexperienced. You can't really tell. So I wouldn't use it for those either. Uh, now we're getting into the more higher end stuff here. Um, these three are Allen Edmonds. That one is a Johnston and Murphy. This is probably mid tier, mid price point, and these are all very high tier um, dress shoes. So, because these are high tier dress shoes, high priced, and so forth, you can kind of tell with the whole, they even come with these bags to them. Uh, you want to make sure that they have shoe trees on them. Now, just to give you an idea, this these are brogues. Uh, you can tell they're very high quality, uh, and they already have Nordstrom shoe trees in them. This is kind of how they work. It fills in the shoe really well. Um, I would supposedly, based off what everyone's saying, these are better than these Nordstrom shoe trees. Now, as far as which shoe tree, uh, which shoe to go for, you want to go for the highest, uh, no, dressiest most formal version first so if you had to choose between this one this one or this one well which one do you choose or this one 
Well, these are brogues. Brogues are very informal because of all the extra fancy stuff, the designs on the front. The, the smoother and simpler the design, uh, the, usually the more uh, formal the shoe is. Uh, and then if it has lacing, that means it's more formal. So that, these loafers, since they don't have lacing, would mean these are the most informal. So you want to start from the top. So it would either be this one or this one that you would want to put the shoe trees in. Now, um, I'm going to put it in uh, probably these Allen Edmonds for now. And uh, here's how, kind of how they work. They, they kind of have a lever, so you kind of have to like push down on them so they fit. Because look how long they are if you don't do that. So again, it's hard to do with one hand, but essentially you want to kind of make sure it goes in there smoothly. Now I don't think there's a left or right, uh, but yeah, just want to make sure it goes in there properly. Now again, this isn't a shoe tree entry tutorial, it's more of a review on these shoe trees. So I'm not going to go into depth about how you're supposed to put these in or anything. But the basic idea behind these is that it's supposed to keep the sh you know, shape of the shoe intact. And I think it does a decent job. Notice how it does not fill in the shoe as much as these Nordstrom shoe trees, which are wider. Having said that, though, these are very high rated on Amazon. So um, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, but you can kind of tell if you feel in the front here, it's fully fleshed out. Same with these, you know, it fills in the shoe tree, keeps the shape, keeps it from sagging, keeps, keeps the wrinkles from happening. So that's all I got to say about these. Link is in the bio if you want to check these out on Amazon for more um, details on shoe trees. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to introduce a new dapper style to my channel, to my own uh, lifestyle. So there you have it.